Susie and the Banshees, A Kiss in the Dream House, their 1989 album. It must have been a strain for London goths to find the same level of misery to wallow in as their northern counterparts. I found this LP in a pile left by my brother who went to live abroad. He is ten years younger than me and goth was his thing. This LP does all the goth things, staccato lead guitar lines and heavily affected choppy guitar chord work. John McKeo was a very highly rated and influential guitar player. Likewise, Budgie the drummer was a much sought after performer. Budgie gives it that big tom-tom beat and Steve Severin plays exactly the right bass and wrote some very interesting lyrics. Playing it has turned out to be much more fun than I expected. The first side has a very cheery up-tempo number called She's a Carnival and a very interesting final track that seems to be built on a tape loop that could have been a component in a Steve Reich composition. On top of it, Susie sings what for me is her most interesting vocal, sometimes using the kind of melody Scott Walker sang in his avant-garde works. I don't know how this would sound to today's music audience because not being in tune was quite a feature. With unexpected oddly tuned instruments appearing, with some of Susie's vocals having that Marlena Dietrich tonality and with the droning and flanging of the guitars, it is in places quite pleasantly jarring, like a Kurt Vile musical or a Tom Waits junkyard excursion. But there are occasions where the guitars are not modulating, when the vocals are perfectly in tune, when there are harmonious backing vocals and even some tinkly tuned percussion, and it is like the clouds being parted, bathing everything in bright moonlight. Towards the end it all starts to try to be blondie like pop gone rogue and the Peggy Lee of your nightmares. It ends with that big Springsteen snare and 80s MTV pop production that would have made it sound like the most up to date and commercial track on the album, though now it sounds to me like the most dated and redundant. Though real strings appear and hint at the psycho shower, but then they lose their nerve and hold back on being truly stabby. A kiss in the dream house, Susie and the Banshees. <laughs> 